All right, so we have a new instance here, and uh, let's start developing something. Now, the first thing we want to do here in this section, we're going to do an infographic. And this is going to be um, raster asset heavy, and that means there's not, not going to be a lot of vector shapes, but rather there's going to be a lot of um, flattened raster elements that are coming from Photoshop. So we're going to bring in a PSD import, and I'm also going to show you in this title, in this infographic, a, a number of the new alignment tools that we have available in Titler Pro 4. So the first thing we do, let's go up to File, and let's do Import PSD File. So we'll uh, go navigate to where that file is located, and we have this uh, boards asset. Now, if I size this down a bit in the workspace, and again, I click the XYZ handle, so it's very convenient to rotate in space, you'll see that there's this PSD image sitting in our uh, workspace. In fact, I could go to the style, and I could even uh, you know, bring up some extrusion here. And uh, you, know, you can see kind of this <laughs> extrusion on the edge. So we've already made this kind of a 3D element, which is kind of fun. Um, but what we can also do with this, just like we did with the EPS import, where we did the individual animation of the leaves, we can do the same with individual layers from a PSD file. And each board here happened to be sliced out as a different uh, layer in Photoshop. So if we go back to the library, and we go to the uh, transitions, animations we can do something like a fly-in so we could do uh, falling letters maybe it's kind of interesting or uh, falling words just the whole thing I think probably letters right is gonna be a nice use and uh, you can see what we could probably do here is this gonna be a full graphic that actually becomes a transition of sorts in your video production so I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop and now we have this great transition down here on the timeline that brings each board in. And again, each board is simply a layer coming from Photoshop. Uh, when you're working with this, by the way, the bottommost layer in Photoshop is the first animated asset. So just think about that. So bottom to top in the Photoshop layers is the sequence of animation when the animation uh, takes over here. Well, I'm going to go back to the Object tab, and that's where I'm going to reset my rotation. Because for this particular infographic, I want this as our background not necessarily as, our, um, as, a, th as a 3D oriented object. So I'm gonna simply size this up so it takes up the whole screen. And uh, now let's start bringing in some text. We wanna develop our text here. So one is we already had an enter text element. Let me just drag that up to a higher track in the timeline and now you can see enter text. So um, we're gonna develop an infographic that honestly, I don't brew beer myself, so please don't flame me if I have the, uh, uh, the ratios wrong. <laughs> but you can inform me, you can, you can, you can send in and, and tell us what's up here. So uh, let's say the India Pale Ale. And we'll pick a nice font for this. Let's do uh, something like, um, uh, we like Bernard. There we go, we'll do Bernard here. And we'll just bring this to the top. And the nice thing, uh, this is a review for some of you, but new if you're new to Title or Pro 4, is this green bounding is this our whole paragraph. You can do a subselection of individual characters, and you can do the same uh, positioning and rotation and resize that you can with anything else. So we could size this the down, and we could move this in space. And now we have an interesting... Uh, layout for this India Pale Ale. So I want to go ahead and bring in another paragraph so we can go down to uh, just above the timeline over on the left and click add new paragraph. So we can do that. And let's say we need some yeast and we want to position this somewhere. Let's position it in fact, let's, let's do this first. Let's go up to some of our new alignment tools. One of them is uh, we had left, right, center for justification, so we'll do that. Obviously, it doesn't matter when you have one piece of text, but you'll see how it does matter. And then secondly, we have new alignment of top, middle, and bottom. Uh, so we can align by top. So now, when I do those two, notice when I hit Enter, yeast, hops, barley, and malt, and then hops. How's that? Right. There we go. All right. Thank you. Don't flame me. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and increase the letting. So we'll maybe find ourselves in the middle of the boards. In fact, let's go to the 
background and simply adjust our background. How do we want this? Because it was a little bigger than what I needed. That looks probably good. All right, so go back to our yeast, malt, and hops. And let's go ahead and create an alignment position. Now, one thing we can do is if I just get close to my uh, tidal safe line, watch how it snaps. So we have snapping. You can also disable it with Alt. But we have snapping to the uh, tidal safe. But let's say I want to bring that in just a little bit. I'm going to turn on our rulers, so show guidelines and rulers. And now, uh, similar to Photoshop, I can drag in a guideline and go ahead and snap to that thing. So uh, we'll open up our letting a little bit more to kind of be within each board. And there you go. One thing we want to do is change the font so we can keep all our style here. Uh, Berlin Sands, let's say. That looks good. All right. So we have this one alignment tool here. So let's go ahead and say, you know what? We want some measure. This is going to be infographic. We want some measure out here, and we want it to align to something. So let's bring in another alignment line and really line right up with our eye in the India Pale Ale. In fact, let's reposition that just back a bit. Boink. And we're going to bring in another PSD file. So import PSD, and we can bring in more beer. So uh, this is another PSD file that each glass is another layer. So we can size this down and maybe position this somewhere. And let's get an animation on it. You've seen how this rolls. So let's quickly go to the library and go to animations and maybe uh, pop up, bouncing letters. That looks like a good way to bring in uh, bring in this graphic. We'll go ahead and drag and drop and apply. And let's shorten up that transition just a little bit so it's a little faster in the timeline. Doink. There you go. And now, uh, tip, if you hold control plus drag on an object, you can make a copy. And so I've just made two copies here. And now here's another great alignment tool. If you use control and do a multiple selection, you can either do multiple selection down here in the timeline or you can do it up here in the workspace and right click you can choose to align uh, left let's say and you can right click again and choose to align uh, distribute vertically so you have a great layout here and as you have them all selected you can come over and snap to this ruler guideline this guideline that you've created uh, so these are great ways to lay out uh, your subject matter what I'm gonna do is change this infographic a little bit by deleting some beer so one two Maybe one, two, three, four. Now that looks like an infographic. And now down here in the timeline, I'll probably want to cascade the sequence of these guys coming in. So I'll change, I'll trim one of these guys and trim the next one even further. So let's see. There we go. We've got our uh, three measures coming out. And now a great thing we want to do is let's say we want to... Um, get the yeast, malt, hops, and India Pale Ale, uh, or at least the yeast, malt, and hops all coming in. Let's, let's go ahead and put a transition on those guys, maybe a fly-in. We'll do that fast ride again on yeast, malt, and hops. They're coming in that way. Let's see what our timing's like. There we go. Yeast, malt, and hops, we want to go to the transition tab, which we're already on because we just applied a transition, and change that to line by line. So now yeast, malt, hops comes in line by line. We want that to come in a little sooner, don't we? So we'll drag that out. Yeah, a little sooner still. And then a great feature of Titler Pro is the ability to right-click on an asset in the timeline, and you can... Uh, you know, the copy the transition and go to India Pale Ale and right click and paste that transition as an in. So uh, you have these kind of things like India comes in too soon. Let's back her off. There you go. And now, one thing I want to do here is I want to apply, they're not really popping very well. Let me turn off my. Uh, my safe margins here. They're not popping all that well. I want to apply something that makes them pop. And a great way to do that is a drop shadow. Uh, now, I showed you one kind of drop shadow in our intro title, which is simply a style layer. But in this case, I actually want to use one of the new blue effects. And I can do that by holding control and doing a multi-select. 
and I can apply drop shadow to each one of them independently or I could also do this this is new in Titler Pro 4 right click and group so now I have a single group if I expand that group and collapse that group you can see how that works right there and I can go into the library effects the uh, elements category in new blue effects has uh, great great features that are like picture in picture and uh, mapping images on stuff as well as some cutaway magnifying elements and drop shadow is what I'm looking for. So I can simply pick that preset of add definition. That looks good. So now I've applied a drop shadow to the group layer and every all the children are getting that drop shadow. So there we go. If I go ahead and play this, I have this great transition where the boards fly in and our infographic pops in just like that.